Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is David and today we are talking all about cooktops and which one I think you should install in your camper van. There are a few different choices when it comes to how to cook in your camper van or RV if you're building one out. The first is gonna be a propane cooktop, which is what we went with. Another option is to get a portable camping stove, the same kind of camping stove that you would bring tent camping. The next type is an induction cooktop, which run completely off electricity and can be very expensive and a high power consumer. So you're gonna need a lot of battery power if you wanna go with an induction cooktop. Me and Kaylee decided to go with a propane cooktop for a few reasons. It can be a little more complicated to install, but you don't require as much power, which is very expensive. It is slightly more complicated to install and to use, but it is very efficient and we never have to worry about running out of power. The cooktop that we decided to go with is made by Ramblewood and they make both natural gas and liquid propane cooktops. Me and Kaylee, first of all, turn off our propane whenever we are not using the cooktop. Secondly, we always make sure that we have ventilation when we're cooking. So we usually open the window that is located on the side of our van and also turn on our max air roof vent to make sure that air is constantly being circulated. The model number for our cooktop, just so you know exactly which one it is, is GCP-37P. This one made by Ramblewood doesn't actually require an electrical connection. It actually ignites off a battery, just a 1.5 volt battery located underneath. That's easy to access and also easy to change out if it ever dies. Ours hasn't actually yet. We've been running this thing for about a year and a half. It's performed awesome and it's super easy to ignite. The cooktop also comes with a safety device with a thermocouple and flame out failure detection trigger mechanism. It also has an auto shut off gas supply. So if anything ever goes wrong, the stove will automatically shut itself off. It's obviously stainless steel too, which makes it super easy to clean and it's very efficient. We installed a 10 pound propane tank and we haven't even had to refill it yet. We've been using this thing like every weekend for the last year and a half and it is extremely efficient. I don't even have to worry about running out and if we do, it's easy to just take into a gas station and get the propane refilled. So when it comes to installing a stovetop, you wanna make sure that the propane tank is as close as possible to the cooktop so you don't have to run a long length of hose. I think it's a good idea because if you're always shutting your propane off after using your stove, it does tend to dissipate after time and every time you wanna go use the stove again, you turn on your propane tank and it takes a little while for the gas to circulate through the hose to the stove. The hardest and most time consuming part of installing your cooktop is gonna be making your vented propane cabinet. So you wanna make sure that your cabinet is vented on the bottom because propane is heavier than air and it will sink to the bottom. So if there is a leak or your propane tank fails, the propane will escape and sink out of the bottom of the cabinet and outside of the van. When I first installed this cooktop, I put a 20 pound propane tank cabinet in the back of our van underneath the bed, but that was really hard to access. And since we wanna turn off the propane every time we use the cooktop, that required me to go outside around the van, open the back doors, crawl underneath the bed, turn the propane on, use the cooktop, and then go back out and turn it off. Huge pain in the ass to access. So I ended up purchasing a 10 pound tank and installing it underneath our sink. So now it's really easy to access and turn on and off when we need to. Let me show you the cabinet. This is underneath our sink. We have our garbage right here, our block that covers the sink, of course. And this is the cabinet. And there is the tank right there. So obviously you can see I have a sealed gasket right here. The hose then runs up and connects to the propane tank. So this setup has worked really well. It's very easy to access. You can also see that I have sealed the outside. You don't have to worry about any gas leaking out. It is also 
magnetized closed and this has never opened. So the magnets are very strong on this door. And then you can see in the back of the cabinet there, I have the vent, which is a three quarter inch pipe, uh, larger than I needed to, to install, but I wanted to be sure. It is also sealed with a sealant around the outside and that goes straight out to the bottom of the van. The most important reason that you need a vented cabinet is because when you're changing elevations, like driving into the mountains, your propane is going to expand inside the tank and it needs to be able to vent so you need to have a large vent i would recommend a three quarter inch pipe out the bottom of your tank and going straight down outside your van but you saw the vented cabinet and you can obviously see that my hose runs straight down and then underneath the cabinets and then up to the back behind these guys. And another reason why I really like this stove is because we were actually able to fit a lot of stuff underneath. So it doesn't take up that much room and it is super thin. Obviously you can see um, at the corner of this drawer, I did have to cut out a bit of a square and that is so the propane pipe can actually fit down in the back. Um, it was fairly easy to do and it just makes so there is absolutely no rubbing on the hose in the back. Let me pop these drawers out and show you what's behind. All the drawers are out and you can see that the hose runs up the back there and then right into the stove. Here, let me get a little more light. Yeah, like check out how thin this is. It is just like right there. So thin, barely takes up any space. This is my connection at the base here. You do need a special brass fitting underneath there and I will link everything in the description below for you to check out. When you're installing this stove or any other propane stove, be sure to always use gas rated Teflon tape. That is the yellow tape that I have installed and it is specifically designed for propane and gas. Also, get a spray bottle, fill it with some soap and water and spray the connections and check after you've made them and tighten them down. That way you'll be able to see any leaks that are coming out. Cutting out the countertop was very easy for this stove. It actually comes with a template that you can use and all you have to do is lay it out and then mark it around and cut it out. The only regret that I have when it comes to installing this stove is I wish I would have installed it a little closer to this edge just because the heat off the back comes up the back here and underneath and sometimes since this is just a stick on tile this can warm up quite a bit. That is actually why we have this. So this is just basically a stainless steel stand that we put on the back there and that helps reflect the heat that 1.5 volt battery right there too, that comes with the stove. I've heard some people complain about the noise the stove can make while driving down the road. Some of the components can rattle around and be a little bit noisy, but we haven't experienced that at all with this stove. It is very basic and easy to assemble and super easy to clean. knobs even come off easily so you can get underneath them to clean them all you have to do to light it is push down and you can hear it the ignition go and then that's it it is lit having those ikea cabinets too just super easy i can just basically pop them out access anything i need to underneath the stove put them back in if you guys wanna see more about our van build, be sure to check out our van tour. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will answer them as soon as I can. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next one.